And Adam Johnson back for Aston Reese. Former Pittsburgh Penguin Adam Johnson played for the Nottingham Panthers in England's elite league until a tragic accident this weekend. During a Halloween themed matchup, his neck was severely cut by a skate in a freak collision with another player in front of thousands of shocked fans, including kids. Uh, the players went straight to him, everything stopped. Two girls on their own in front of me were like going to the mum, you know, as he died and she couldn't really answer. Officials ended the game and cleared the arena, but medical personnel could not save Johnson's life. In a statement, the Panthers say the team is heartbroken and they're not the only ones, as the incident raises new questions about safety. It's obviously uh, hits, you know, real close to home for me because, you know, I, I almost died from the same accident. Former NHL player Clint Malarchuk suffered a similar injury when he played for the Buffalo Sabres back in 1989. Malarchuk says his mom saw it happen on live TV. And now he's thinking about what Johnson's family must be going through. I, I just can't uh, put into words how it must be for them. You know, and, 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 you know, the kids from Minnesota, a big hockey state, and the whole, the whole hockey world's been affected by this, for sure. Others say this tragedy only highlights the importance of wearing protective equipment like neck guards, including this former junior player who also suffered a similar injury. I got about 25 stitches on the side of my cheek. Um, and, you know, I'm, I, I keep saying that I'm lucky, but again, I think it was just because I was wearing a helmet and the proper equipment that uh, I needed at the time. In the NHL, some players choose to wear neck guards. We reached out to Hockey Canada, which says neck guards are mandatory for all players in minor hockey and in the women's league. Jennifer Yoon, CBC News, Montreal.